My name is Muhammad Tawseef and my job title is Associate Professor in Sustainable Textile Manufacturing. So I'm focusing on the manufacturing processes, how we can develop new processes, how can we use existing processes and how we can improve that. So the key is to identify environmental challenges and then we want to develop solutions, but we want to develop solutions in collaboration with industry. So whatever we do can have a commercial context and can then be translated into a commercial product. Yarn is a building block that allows us to create a range of different textiles. Industry, the way they develop their material, the minimum quantity they would need would be at least 30 to 40 kilograms to make a yarn. And sometimes you don't have those fibers available. A lot of the times you have to stop your existing process. You have to incur production loss and then try out those new materials. We are already working with industry where we are taking their raw materials and we are developing these unique yarns for them. And the equipment which we have here is called Lab Scale Staple Yarn Spinning Line. It's part of an EPSRC funded project. So this line allows us to create bespoke yarns from a very small amount of fibers which enhances our research capabilities, which allows industry to develop new yarns, new materials, and new developments on a very, very small scale. So this is the uniqueness of this equipment. Our starting point is opening and carding machine. Input is a raw material, for example, cotton, polyester, nylon, different types of fibers. So we input that material and we make a sliver. Once you've made the sliver, we go to the next machine, which is a styro roving lab, where we combine multiple of those slivers to create a roving at the end of the process. Once we have that roving, that roving goes on to the final step of the spinning process where we create a yarn by twisting. So in summary, we are opening fibers, we are cleaning fibers, we are blending them, we are aligning them, and finally we are twisting them to create a yarn. And then that yarn is ready to go to the next process to be converted into a textile fabric. But that is fundamental. If we can't develop our own yarn, we can't try out any new materials. As far as I am aware, it's the only one in the UK where we have this line, which allows us to start from raw fibers and end up with a finished yarn. And more importantly, within University of Leeds, where we can take those yarns, create fabrics, color them, and evaluate them in terms of performance. So we are quite unique in that perspective.